So I finally got to spend more time with Sony's brand new OLED. I'm talking about the A1E OLED, which has a 55 and 65 inch variant, lovely looking display. Now pricing starts at 4,999 for the 55 inch A1E. This is powered by Sony's 4K HDR uh, X1 processor, which Sony says will give you 40% more real time image processing. It looked really good, uh, I have to say. I spent a couple of hours with this TV in the end, Visually, it looked good. Now, it's not a review, guys, but I want to talk about some of the other features on the TV. Design-wise, it's really slick. Uh, this TV, there was no mention about wall mounting because you do have the, the stand that also doubles as the subwoofer uh, at the back. Now, really thin bezels all the way around, as you can see here in the picture, and the picture quality is really, really sharp. Sony says the trimless display gives you extra colors and vibrance. They don't they didn't mention anything about nits, but it looked vibrant and sharp for what I saw. I have to test it out in house to give you guys a better idea of what this TV can actually do in terms of picture. But it's got uh, motion flow XR to keep for smooth panning while you're watching uh, content. But what I want you guys to take a listen to is that acoustic surface. There are no speakers built in. Sound vibrates off the panel itself. So. I'm going to now cut over so you guys can listen to audio off the Sony A1E OLED TV. I have to say that acoustic surface sounds really good. Now the volume was maxed eventually to 100. Uh, we I tried it at different levels and this is a much bigger space so I have to see how it is within a home setting. But that being said though, it sounded really good because it's also backed up by a subwoofer at the back. That stand, as I mentioned earlier, acts as a subwoofer and that's good because you need something like that to accentuate most of the audio. Now underneath that is where of course your cable connections are. So you have your RF connections, supports four HDMI ports as well as your um, component ports there and the power plug and you can see the lining for the cable so you can actually place them properly. This is the remote. The remote itself, I'm not a big fan. I think there's just too many buttons for a remote control. I like some more simplistic remotes, but this is the remote you have. Uh, it also has specific buttons for Netflix as well as Google Play. Now, speaking of that, you have Android TV power in this TV set, so you can see the Android TV interface. There are some features that Sony has added into this, uh, talking about quick access menu. Um, of course, it's got built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Google Cast is built into this. Uh, you can change your HDR settings. There's also quick access buttons on the remote to get to send many options because Android TV doesn't necessarily have that built in. Now, gaming on this TV, uh, we got to check out a demo of um, Sony's uh, Gran Turismo. It looked great on the TV, um, but then again, uh, we got to see demo sessions of it, not actually proper gameplay. So we'll have to wait and see. But overall, I do like the look of the TV. I look at, I do like the style. I like what Sony is trying to bring to the table. If it delivers on what it says it does, I think this would be a really solid entry into the OLED market and hopefully will drop prices for OLEDs and also improve the quality. Now, we'll have to see how it does in brighter situations. I have to see how this also does within the home as well as also how that acoustic sound balances out but right now from what i spent my time taking a look at the a1e looks really nice it is priced at 4999 starting so that is something to take note on this tv but it is available now and if you're looking to pick it up definitely use our amazon link down below to pick up either the 55 or 65 inch version of the sony a1e oled if you have any questions or any comments guys let me know don't forget to like and share this video subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.